This is Randy Thompson coming to you with Trudy Adams on Annie. And the first thing she asked me today was the same question she had last week, which is perfect because this is what happens to most riders. Why is my horse throwing its head up in the transitions and why can't I keep them connected? And the reason is, is because this happens to all riders and all horses. So what we're going to do is isolate the steps to connection and the half halt. And we're going to play with that a little bit more today because that's what we do forever when we're riding horses as we keep working on improving our stuff. All right, so first we're going to play with the first step to connection is she should soften to your jaw, right? Yes. Okay, so pick up your left rein and when she softens to the jaw, what she should do is follow your hand. So pick up your rein and see if she'll follow. That's right. Now she followed your hand over, right? Right. Can you soften her jaw and pick her head up? Okay, her yeah. nose was too far over to pick it up, wasn't it? Go to the right rein. So you straighten her out, soften her on the right rein. Soften her jaw on the right rein. That's it. Okay, now you feel her giving you on the right rein? Yeah. And you can see on those that are watching on the camera, she's chewing on the bit. Okay, now pick her head up by softening the that's it, and then switching the rein and just playing with well, what can you do to get her to soften? That's right. That's all right, she'll lock up at times. You feel her locking up. She's not being bad. This is just where you're gonna say, okay, come on, you have to soften at the jaw because that's the first step of connection, right? Okay. Now you'll notice she's starting to pick you up a little differently under your seat as you do this, isn't she? Take your time. Yeah. Remember, she can't see between her ears. If you see further than in between yeah. her ears, like if you turn her neck over where you can't see between her ears, you've brought it over too far. On this side, she seems to get a little stiffer. That's right. So one side today, you know, for whatever reason, okay, now keep her. Remember, you have to be able to look between her ears or you're right in the head and not there. Good. You feel the difference? Good. 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 She finally like gave instead of just locking up. That's right. And that's it. Now you'll see. Whoop. Now when you change directions, do you notice her head comes up? Oh, yeah. That's where you're not keeping a consistent feel on the reins. You're giving enough to where she's saying, well, if mom's not asking me to supple, I can stick my head up, right? So now you're going to ask her to soften. There, right there. She has to stay there, but you have to be able to see between her ears. Otherwise, you've brought her head over too far. Okay, now change directions and see if you can still look between her ears. It makes you ride the neck different, doesn't it? Watch it. Her head's starting to come up. Feel it. I'm going to step to the side so you can see it from the side, too. Good. And remember, it's soften, let go on one rein, and then on the other. That's it. Soften. Right, there, there, there. You felt her letting go, right? But she, yeah. But she wants to go eat on well, that right rein. That's right. But they all they all have their favorite rein. Okay, now bring her nose over so you can see between her ears. See how you bring it over too far? I did. Good, good. Now when you touch her mouth, it's going to be softer. It's just like you're massaging it slower. And just see, you know, when you touch the rein, you get a response. Is she saying yes, no, or maybe? Every time you touch the rein, yes, no, or maybe? Uh, yes, except there we went dive. That's all right, because she doesn't know where to be, so this is perfect. So now when you touch, like when you touch the left rein, just touch it once and say, is she saying yes, no, or maybe? Once. Just touch no. it once. Good. So then touch it again. Yes, no, or maybe? No. Good. Touch it again. That's maybe. it. That's it. Good, good, good. Keep doing it. Now you'll notice now on the right rein, she's locked up. Her... There you go. Good Feel girl. it? Good now you girl. notice how slowly we're using the rein? Yes, That's... no, or maybe? That's me. I have to remember to slow down. I'm sort of one of those... <laughs> control freaks and I want to get it and get it right now and I need to slow down. We all do and you were taught like me how to seesaw so yeah. it was like saw 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 right. so now you're going to say pick up the right rein bring her nose over did she say yes no or maybe? She said yes with that one. Good good. Her head Can you see between her? That's all right. Yeah, now cool. your goal is to keep looking between her ears as you take her from side to side and just every time you touch the rein is it a yes no or maybe? Maybe. Good and praise her. Yes. Yep. Look in between her ears. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, maybe. Good. Yes. Notice she dropped you on the outside rein that she, time, right? Yes, yeah, she did. So you have to check that rein because sometimes it's the inside rein, sometimes it's the outside rein. Only well, you'll know. I didn't do that in the beginning. I was really working with one rein. That's all right. So, now you're going to add both reins. What's rein is she locking up on? Um, right rein. Good. So ask her to say yes on the right rein. Make sure she responds. Here. Good That's girl. it. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Good. And then you have to check her on the other rein right away. Because, you know, at first you'll get them to soften on one jaw, and then they'll lock up on the other. Slow, slow, slow. You've got to say yes, no, or maybe. Good girl. Good yep. Girl. 
That's it. There. Now you're okay. thinking about it. See it? Yeah. And I, I've got to adjust. I forgot to adjust. That's right. So you have to adjust, 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 adjust. Adjust, adjust. It's every stride. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to add unlocking the pole. That's step number two, right? <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> well, that's where, that's where you feel she lifts her head up and locks up, right? Right. Okay. So is she locking up in her jaw? Ask her. Yes, no, or maybe? Okay. You've got her jaw. Look through her ear. Her jaw. She's locked up. Okay, good. So now you're going to add asking what do you have to do to get her to unlock her pole? First, it's the jaw, step one, then it's the pole. So now you're going to play, okay, so I can still look between the ears. What can I do where she says yes, no, or maybe to first the jaw, then the pole? Now, when she gives the pole, she's going to stretch her neck and let go. There, feel it? There you go. Good, good, is good Trudy. Too, is her head too low? No, right so now we don't care if it goes too low. We just want her to unlock her jaw, okay? Whoop. Okay. That's, jaw yep. And pole yep. First good the jaw, girl. then the pole. Good girl. Good, good, good. good. First the jaw, yes, no, or maybe. And remember, this is new to her because we're really isolating it, right? She's locking up on the right side. Good, good. You feel it? That was pretty soft, though, even though she locked up that. Yes, because you picked it up right, you know, you sensed it right away. Good girl. Good, good. She's That's, very smart. But now, when you like, praise her, it's a good thing, but you're dropping your connection. So I want, I'd like you to praise her with your voice, voice so that you can, yep, you feel her locking up in the pole. Yeah. There you go. Good praise girl. her. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And make sure you can see through the ears. Good girl. Now, I you'll notice when she good. starts giving you the pole that she also starts getting a rainbow on her neck, right? Yes. Step three is the rainbow. That's right. So that means step one is? Jaw. Step two is? And as a result, we should get the rainbow. That's right. Keep your elbows back so that your elbows come through your seat. When you touch the rain, you should feel it come into your seat that melts into the saddle. There you go. Feel her shift back. Yep. Take I your did. feel it through your seat. Good girl. Good, good. Girl. Take your time. The slower you do this, the better. Very good. Girl. good. good girl. Now when she gets the rainbow is when you can feel she's picked you up under the saddle a little, hasn't she? And I also saw the the neck must Good. Have so she's seen when she brings Annie, Annie's neck a little to the right, where she can still see through the ears. She's seen the neck muscle on the top flip to the left, which is what it should be doing. Just a that slight flip to the neck. I go to touch that outside, the left rein. She wants to pop her head up. That's right. So that means it's your outside rein. If her neck is popping up, she's not staying soft in her jaw, pole, and neck on the other side. Oh. So it just takes, because you notice now it's becoming more automatic. At first you have to really think about it. So yes. you just go, step one, is she giving you at the pole? Can you see between her ears? Yes. Step two, now she's starting to break right behind her ears, so that means that she's over, overdoing it. You're bringing her nose over so far that you can't see between her ears, right? That was it, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, I know. I know. Fudge, well, that's fudge, what fudge. that's why so many riders they get that broken point 6 inches behind the the pole is because they're turning the horse's neck there instead of there. See, you're turning her more from the base of your hands now, aren't you? Yeah. Good. Oh, there's something over there. Okay. Oh. It's a horse. Somebody talk to me. All right. Now we're going to try this at the walk. All right. Take your time and let's go for a walk. Very good.